Hey guys, it's Marcus and Learning with Marcus, and today, let's learn some Portuguese. Okay, so the phrases that we are going to learn today are Welcome, enter please. You have a beautiful home. Thank you. It's really cozy, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let me show you around the house. Okay, let's get to learning these phrases. Okay, so the first phrase out of that conversation was Welcome, enter please, which in Portuguese would be Bem-vindo, entre por favor. Now there are a few ways to say enter, depending who you're talking to. If you're talking to one man, you would say Bem-vindo. If you were talking to a woman, you would say Bem-vinda. If you were talking to a group of men, or a group of men and women, you would say Bem-vindos. And if you were talking to solely a group of women, you would say bem-vindas. So, in this sentence, we're only talking to one man. So, we would say bem-vindo. Now, the next word is entre, which means enter. And por favor means please. So, all together, to a man, saying welcome. Enter, please, would be Bem-vindo, entre, por favor. To say, thank you, your house is beautiful, you would say, Obrigado, sua casa é linda. That was, Obrigado, sua casa é linda. Obrigado is the way for a man to say thank you. If you are a woman, you would say, Obrigada. Sua is the feminine form of the way to say your. Gaza is a feminine noun, so that's why we would have the feminine form of your before this word. E, as you know, means is. A linda means cute or beautiful. In this sentence, we're going to use it as beautiful. You can also use bonita in the sentence. So you could either say, sua casa é linda, or sua casa é bonita. Now it's your turn. Say, sua casa é linda. Very good. To say, it's very cozy, isn't it? You would say, É muito aconchegante, né? Now let's break that down. Muito is the way to say very or much. Aconchegante means cozy. That was aconchegante. And né is something that you can put at the end of a sentence to ask for agreement. It's like saying, don't you think, in English. So, altogether, that sentence would be É muito aconchegante, né? Okay, now it's your turn. Say É muito aconchegante, né? Awesome. Now let's move on to the final phrase in this conversation. To say, let me show you the house, you would say Deixe-me te mostrar a casa. I'll repeat that one more time. Deixe-me te mostrar o a casa. Now let's break that down. Deixe is a form of the verb deixar. And with form, when combined with me, it means let me. So it would be deixa me. Mostrar is the verb to show. And you can put the polite form of you, che, in front of it to mean show you. And casa, which we learned in the past slide, means house. And we will put the feminine form of the, which is a, because we know that casa, casa is the feminine noun, a feminine noun. So all together, that sentence would be, Deixe-me te mostrar a casa. Okay, now it's your turn. Say, 
Deixe-me te mostrar a casa. Great. That's the end of the lesson.